Hello guys, let's make a t-shirt, okay? I'm gonna delete the camera, the light, bring my screencast key on. Alright, so we're gonna use the mirror, go to here, edit, if you don't have it over here, enable the add-on, okay? Oh, and Or you can just go to here, and that's the mirror, there, okay? And to hide that panel, so we got our mirror, and let's do something. Right now, let me screw that to this bit just a little bit there. Now, what? Control Z. I'm gonna enable this one. This is it's way better if you use the snap tool, okay? Screw it to the Z. Right, just like that would do. Let's scale this thing. Or you can just go to here. Scale it to the Y. Yeah, something like that. And this one is for the arm, right? Extrude. If you want it big, then make it big. It's up to you. Bring it down a little bit, or you can just make it straight. That's okay. All right. So we're gonna add another cut over there. I'm gonna delete the off. Okay. I'm gonna select. Make a face select. Delete this face. All right. Look at that. Basic of the shape. For the, I don't know, shirt, yes, shirt. <laughs> so I'm done with that. So I'm gonna apply the mirror. Cool. All right, so now let's adjust this one. GG, or you can just press G to the Z, but turn this off, okay? Grab right over there. Grab it again. Yeah, that would do. Bring them up. Nope. All right. I'm gonna delete this face over here and this one and this one and this one and this one. Delete those face and you've got something like that. Very simple basic shape, but let's add a mirror. Let's see if it works well. Nope, that works well. That's okay. Now we have nothing weird from the previous mirror. Let's add some stuff. Um, subdivision surface. Oh, where is that? There we go. Now increase the level viewport to something. Three would do, two would do, up to you. All right, look at that. You can see it now. It has a basic shape of the t shirt. Okay, so I'm gonna go to, go to this one. GG, bring it down a little bit. This one as well. I usually, usually, I'm gonna use the mirror, but I'm not gonna use the mirror now. GG to the Z to the Z. All right. No, I want that. Okay, for this one. Mm hmm. Nope. Ah, this one. This one. Let's add some to scale. Screw that to the Z. I uh, don't no need that one. All right. All we have to do now is just adjust the shape. Add another loop cut. Add another loop cut. There. There. And there. Oh, yeah, I didn't delete this face. All right. Now we got. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that weird t shirt over there. If you want to make it thinner, I mean, like it's hanging, just scale it to the Y. It looks like the clothes has, like it's hanging, okay? So that's how I'm gonna make. Let's adjust the shape this one a little bit. This one. Maybe scale. GG. Scale. So it has some kind of t shirt shape. shape, okay? And for this one, let's make this below a little bit rounder. So I'm gonna go to it, that one. And I'm gonna. Turn this on, the proportional editing. Press that to Z. Alright, now it's round. Alright. The back is fuller as well. Okay, the back is fuller as well. Let's do the same method. Nope, not gonna do that. Alright, that's way too round. 
scale. Oh, that's too much. All right, so just like that, okay? That would do. Now, if you once you're satisfied, so apply the subdivision surface. You see now, got lots of face for there. All right, that's good. Shade smooth. Mm-hmm. If you want, add some solidify on it. There we go. Now it's thick. And now go to here. Uh, the not the visibility. I think it's this one. Oh, there we go. That's the normal. Enable the auto smooth. See this one? That's trouble. So enable auto smooth. Make it smoother. Look kind of sharp, but that's because I will solidify uh, a little bit thick. So yeah, that would do. It's not sharp now. Actually, to apply. All right. So I go to shading. I'm gonna paint this simple way. Oh, uh, white would do. I'm just gonna add some texture. I mean, if you want a lot of color on this, you can use a texture, okay? So I'm gonna use a color ramp. This color, get the base color, and pick any. Uh, uh, where you go? Oh, the texture. Any texture you want. I'm gonna try with the noise texture. Effect with effect. Oh, look at that. When you, when is time? When is the last time you wash your shirt? <laughs> but first, I'm gonna go to here. Huh? The roughness. We don't want that specular out down because this is not a glass. All right. Now I'm gonna go to texture here. The roughness I'm gonna just increase it. Let's just say I want it to be like uh, grass. I mean to show that grassy shape. So I'm gonna go to this one. Gonna be the green, green over there, green white green. This one is a uh, green but dark. Dark green. This one I'm gonna bring it over here. A little bit. Okay. No, 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 no. Not that one. This one. Okay, this is gonna be the black. And then another one. Bring it over here. Maybe this is something uh, maybe a dead few uh, dead grass. I'm gonna increase the scale. There we go. Detail. Up the detail. Well, that's so, so, so weird. You can adjust this, uh, something that you're liking until you got something that you like. Okay. I don't know what that's called, <laughs> but it sure does a cool texture. Link up the detail. Hmm, that's looks cool as well. Distortion. Ah, way too cool, or maybe it's too much. Up the detail, because I said I I want to be a grassy shape, but that doesn't look like grass. So I'm gonna up this one. Scale me just a little bit. I don't need distortion. All right, so that's a kind of weird kind of texture. You know what? You don't need this. Just what it would do. Okay. So that's how to make a simple T-shirt. Okay. It may be not perfect, but it should give you some idea of how to make such a simple stuff like this. Okay. <laughs> so that's all for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Okay now, bye bye.